Madcap Flare 2019 includes a new built-in micro content editor, an industry first in technical communication and content authoring. Micro content is exactly what it sounds like, text, images, and video consumed by a reader in about 10 to 20 seconds. Just as the industry shifted from linear book-based authoring to topic-based authoring, so will a content author's ability to create micro content become more prevalent. In Flare, it begins with the creation of a collection of brief phrases and corresponding responses, such as questions and answers, using the new microcontent editor. The editor also makes it easy to reuse existing topic and snippet content as responses. After generating HTML5 output, these phrase response combinations can be used in different ways as, user inter as users interact with your output. Among other benefits, it can greatly improve the user experience when people search your HTML5 output in the form of featured snippets in search results, which is how Flare is utilizing micro content out of the box. But it's also the backbone for other existing and emerging technologies, like content for chatbots and machine learning applications, field level descriptions and embedded help, virtual and augmented reality, where virtual instructions can be blended with real world scenarios, which is a big trend in training and development. So before we take a look at creating micro content in Flare, let's look at the impact micro content has as featured snippets and search results and compare a search query in the old version of Flare's online help with the new one, which uses micro content. On the left-hand side, we'll see a query for snippets, which retrieves 472 topic hits. On the right-hand side, using micro content, we can see that same search query not only yields lots of topic hits, but a direct, concise answer to the query. It also includes a nice animated GIF and links to more information if we would like to look at those. So let's look at Flare and see how we can manage this content in our editor. So in Flare, I've added a new micro content file in the resources folder of my Content Explorer. I've currently got a, a phrase pointing to an existing topic, which is going to be the response. I can also create a new phrase, and I can add the content here, and I can type in this editor just like I would in a topic, or I can link to an existing topic, bookmark, or snippet in my project as the answer or the response. I can also add alternate phrases. I may decide that different ways of asking the same query may come up, so we can type those in as well. I can also create phrases and responses from existing information in my project. So I may have a topic that's quite long, but I may have one bit of information here that could be a great use of micro content. I can select the information. There's a button in my home ribbon here that allows me to create micro content. So that's how easy it is to create it. Let's take a look at what it would feel like if we were to search on one of these terms in our output. We can see that we have our results, but in addition, we have this directed piece of information that answers our query quickly with links to more information should we need it. So we hope you enjoy this new feature of micro content in Flare 2019.